sowing to harvest sorghum sorghum is the fifth most important cereal crop and is the dietary staple for more than 500 million people in 30 countries sorghum belongs to graminae family the scientific name of sorghum sorghum bicolor the common names solum jowar varieties released from tnau hybrids released from tnau and the land races of sorghum periya manjal cholam chinna manjal thalai virichan makkatta cholam senjolam vellai cholam season for rain fed crop adi pattam and protasi pattam for irrigated crop thai pattam and chitre pattam field preparation application of farm made manure spread 12.5 tons per hectare farm made manure or 10 packets of paspobacterium on the unplowed field and incorporate the manure in the soil plowing plow the field with an iron plow once or twice sorghum does not require fine till since it adversely affects germination and yield formation of ridges and furrows farm ridges and furrows using a ridger at 6 meter long and 45 cm apart farm irrigation channels across the furrows application of fertilizers apply npk fertilizers as per soil test recommendation if not possible apply blanket recommendation of npk fertilizers for irrigated crop npk fertilizers 90 is to 45 is to 45 kg per hectare apply nitrogen 45 and full dose of phosphorus and potassium as basal application for rain fed crop npk fertilizers at the rate of 40 is to 20 is to 0 kg per hectare as basal application varieties npk fertilizers at the rate of 50 is to 50 is to 50 kg per hectare as basal application and for hybrids npk fertilizers at the rate of 100 is to 50 is to 50 kg per hectare for basal application 50 is to 50 is to 50 kg per hectare seeds are pre soaked in 2% potassium dihydrogen phosphate solution for 6 hours and then dried back to its original moisture content in shade and used for sowing to avoid the seed borne diseases seeds are mixed with carbondism at the rate of 2 g per kg to control the shoot fly seeds are mixed with chlorpyrifos at the rate of 4 ml per kg to acquire natural nutrition seeds are mixed with biofertilizers azospirillum at the rate of 600 g per kg sowing sow the seeds over the lines where fertilizers are placed seed rate for irrigated crop 10 kg per hectare for rain fed crop 15 kg per hectare duration of sorghum crop is 100 to 105 days sow the seeds with a spacing of 15 cm between plants in a rows which are 45 cm apart irrigate the field after sowing weed management apply the pre emergence herbicide atrazine 50 wp at the rate of 500 g per hectare on third days after sowing using hand operated sprayers and thus the backward movement is followed irrigate the field after weedicide application irrigation is known as life irrigation sprouting early stage sorghum generally slow growing in early stage adversely affected by weed competition so keep the field free of weeds up to 45 days after pre emergence herbicide application one hand weeding on 30th days after sowing may be given followed by first top dressing of nitrogen is done at 30 days after sowing thinning of the seedlings and gap filling thin the seedlings and gap fill with the seedlings thinned out maintain a spacing of 15 cm between plants after the first hand weeding on 30th days of sowing after top dressing earthing up is done earthing up increases the plant height and dry weight which are 
helps to further development of crown path and root system stages of sorghum booting stage heading stage flowering stage grain filling stage finally maturity harvesting when the crop matures the leaves turn yellow and present a dried up appearance the grains are hard and firm at this stage harvest the crop by cutting the ear separately cut the straws after a week allow it to dry and then stake dry the ear threshing threshing may be done by manual or mechanical manual is done by beating the ear with stakes then the mechanical thresher or by drawing the stone roller over the ear its grain eel for its sorghum is a very valuable fodder crop it may be utilized in a number of ways namely as silage hay green chop or pasture for its sorghum is extremely drought tolerant and can be planted more successfully on marginal soils for grazing or hay purposes a higher seeding rate is recommended to ensure thinner stems the younger the plants the higher the protein content for grazing or hay the plants must not be allowed to flower the appropriate nitrogen dressing must be applied after each utilization young sorghum plants contain poisonous chemical when cattle graze such green and growing sorghum crop may result in hydrocyanic acid poisoning generally cutting the plants and chopping and sun curing can reduce the hcn levels because hcn can evaporate with loss in forage moisture